as you can see, I've gone ahead and cleaned things up a little bit, or I've become just a little more organized. So let's begin this lesson by talking about how we go about doing that. Most of these things are self-explanatory, so I'm just going to run through them quickly. However, it doesn't mean that it's not important. And in pretty much any digital audio workstation, you're going to find these exact same sort of controls and you'll be using them all the time. And that's true if you're a beginner or you've been making music for 100 years. The more organized you remain, the more effective and efficient you can be when making music. So what I'll start by doing is closing down the sample browser here. To do that, very simple. Head to the bottom right, click the blue waveform, and it's gone. All right, so we're back here. Now we just are looking at all of our audio channels and our clips. We can rename audio channels by double clicking and typing in what we want to do. We can change the color by right clicking on the clip and picking any color here. So let's say I want to turn this to red. Now notice when I do that, based on where my mouse pointer ends up, it will move that clip. And that's kind of annoying, especially if you're not locked right into the grid and you can't easily find your way back. So let's say that I ended up with the clip here. At this point, I can either edit undo or click command Z and I can bring it right back. That is something you will probably end up doing a few times. If you're right on the beat though, it's not too hard to just kind of drag things back. You can also see that I have organized these clips a little bit. I have my drums together, my synths together, my vocal off by itself. And that's up to you. However you want to organize it is fine, but just make sure you are kind of organizing things by part. That way when you're going back to find things, very simple to do. And I know for this example with five tracks, it doesn't really matter, but imagine a pop arrangement where you have like 100 tracks and uh, you can really get a headache if you're not color coding and naming things properly. We've already taken a look at these pan pots, but again, I can just take these and I can put things in the stereo field. So notice that if I have this ethnic percussion off here to the right, and I play it at the same time with this vocal that's pretty much at the same space on the right. I have something soloed, one solo it. He's ready for the next thing. He's ready for the next thing. You can do it. He's ready for the next thing. He's ready for the next thing. And you can kind of hear that they're clashing with each other a little bit because they're sitting in the same place in the stereo field. And if we wanted to, we could change this one here, but maybe I like the fact that this one is starting off to the left and I want this one to go on to the right. How am I going to go about doing that? We have a few options and we'll go through kind of the most obvious one first, which is we can right click here and we can choose either clone channel or clone channel and content. If I choose clone channel, we're just going to make a new audio track and that's not very helpful for us. So instead I'll choose clone channel and content. And now I have an exact duplicate with my content coming underneath. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this one, delete this one. And now I'm just left with this clip on the second half and I can just go ahead and move that one over to the right. He's ready for the next thing. You can do it. Ready for the next thing. He's ready for the next thing. And now it sounds a lot clearer and we're able to turn this down more. And again, saving space here on our meters. Always be watching that and constantly mix as you go. And mixing can be as simple as changing your level faders and getting your pan position correct. I know it seems like that's like, you know, really elementary, but to making a very clean sounding and organized and balanced mix, there still are no more important factors than the pan position and the level. So if you get that right, you're really on your way to making something pretty cool.